With over 11,000 cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! training card game, it's impossible to know every single one of them. With this series, I'll be trying to shed some lights on cards that didn't register on anyone's radar, so let's find Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Unpolished Gems. Hello everyone, Chico here, and I welcome you to Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Unpolished Gems, a series introducing or reintroducing a certain card and analyzing its possible usage as a tech. Today we're going to let out our inner beast and go on a walk around the forest, so basically, we're releasing our persona. However, before we do, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. This kind of content. Smoke bomb. Ah, much better. At least for the remainder of this video. Now let's have a look at Closed Forest. Closed Forest is a field spell first released as a Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Diesel Transit promotional card all the way back in December 2010. Later reprinted in Astral Pack 1 two years later and in Battle Pack 3 two years after that. The card has seen a bit of play pretty much on release, with the last recorded placement being from January 2018's original in Fargo, North Dakota, where Zack Butler used it in his side deck to get all the way to the third place. All nice and sweet, but what does this card actually do? So the effect is as follows. All beast-type monsters you control gain 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Field spells cannot be activated. Field spell cards cannot be activated during the turn this card is destroyed. At first glance, Close Forest effect doesn't seem to be that good. A uh, 100 attack boost to all beast-type monsters for every monster in the graveyard. However, it's the latter part that makes it a very powerful tool. Once Close Forest hits the field, no other field spells can be activated and should it be destroyed for the remainder of the turn, a similar effect will apply. It's a strong pick if you want to turn off any field spell activations. So you can say no to Magical Meltdown, Mystic Mine, Dragon Ravine, and more. It's a searchable floodgate that doesn't clog the spell and trap zones on the field. There aren't that many cards that share those characteristics with Closed Forest. Even with all those good points, the bad points might actually outweigh them, since with the abundance of non-destruction back removal, especially Cosmic Cyclone being used more frequently, the floating effect is not as prevalent, and with that, Closed Forest can be easily outed. At the time of this recording, the card has four printings, with the cheapest being a common from Battle Pack 3 Monster League, going for $1.42 on average. Additionally, this card is available in Master Duel as an SR from the Forest Friends Secret Pack. Since there's no limitation regarding its usage, the card can be used in basically anything. However, it's very meta-dependent since it stops a very specific mechanic. At the end of the day, Closed Forest is a very interesting piece of beat support, which found its way into the metagame due to its secondary ability. What do you guys think about the card? Is it worth playing in your deck? Leave your answers in the comments below. It has been Jacob. I'm signing out. Peace. Okay, now I have to get out of this.